usually get baptized. Um, so we had, unless my own younger daughter. Do you feel she died doing what she loved? I know she did. I know she did. She was totally, totally committed to what she did and the importance of, you know, telling the story and writing it and getting it out to the world, no matter what. That was her life. It was raided and... Yeah, Sean, uh, Sean Ryan told me that he talked to her yesterday and uh, he felt it was really more dangerous than anything and, and that she should come out. And she told, he told me that she told him that she was on a story that was important and she wanted to finish it and that she would leave today. And that's really hard because it was just one day. Um, she, she grew up in Oyster Bay, East Norwich area, she graduated from our local school. <clears throat> but she grew up in a time when uh, a lot of things were happening. They were happening with women, uh, civil rights movement, Vietnam War, big, uh, we were all big protesters in, as a family. Everything is different now because it's instant, and you know, you know what's happening almost as it's happening. Um, years ago, I would only find out how dangerous it was afterwards. Uh, so now it's a little harder. You know, I will, I would know when she's in a place, and what's happening in that place is so current. So it's it's a little, a lot more of a worry in the last few years than it used to be. Yeah. Well, the important her was getting the story. She always went into the, to, she, was, she was international correspondent, she covered uh, over 30, 40 wars, and she always wanted to get the story out from the people, what was going on, and she always tried to get the uh, bear witness to what was happening and get the story right, that's what she did.